This is Fitness Blender's Fluid Yoga Stretch. In this workout, we're going to be moving slowly through a series of yoga stretches. Now, you're not going to need any equipment for this routine whatsoever, except for an optional exercise mat. So let's go ahead and get started with our first stretch, which is going to be an overhead stretch plus a forward bend. So bring those arms up over your head, take a nice deep breath in, slowly drop down towards those feet, just a regular toe touch, then right back up again as those hands come up over top of your head. Just nice and slow, control that breathing, exhale on the way down, inhale on the way back up. Just keep those lungs open, and make sure you don't hold your breath. Let's do two more. Nice and slow, hands up over top of your head, deep breath in. Slowly exhale down, stretching down towards those toes. Keep those legs nice and straight. Back up again for our last one. Nice deep breath in. Exhale down towards those toes. And let it relax. We're gonna switch off to a warrior pose next. So those feet really nice and wide, about two to three times shoulder width apart. Drop down off to one side with that foot turned away from you. Other legs mean nice and straight. Keeping those arms parallel to the ground, pointing in opposite directions. Then moving to a modified side angle, elbow down onto that bent knee, hand comes up over top of your head, stretching it up. Keep that chest open, breathing normally. Then down to a low lunge. So dropping down over that bent knee even more, dropping those hips down as low as is comfortable. Hands down to that mat. Again, keeping those lungs open. Then slowly come back up. We're going to do the same exact thing off to the other side. So bend that opposite knee off. Turn that toe out to the side. Arms nice and straight, parallel to the ground. Keep those lungs open. Slowly move off to that modified side angle. Elbow on that knee. Hand up over top of your shoulder. Keep that chest open. Make sure you're not rolling those shoulders down towards the ground. You want to keep them perpendicular to the ground. And slowly down to that low lunge, hands on the ground, dropping those hips down towards the ground as close as comfortable. Keep those lungs open. And let it relax. Go ahead and move to a downward dog next. So feet just about hip width apart. Walk those hands out, trying to make a triangle off of the ground. So nice straight line from wrist to hip and from hip to ankle. Trying to keep those knees as straight as you can. Go ahead and bring one leg up for a downward dog split. So trying to keep that leg up as high as you possibly can. Then bend that knee, bring that heel back down towards your butt for a hip opener. Slowly back down, we're gonna do a modified pigeon. So that leg that was up, you're gonna bring and tuck underneath you, lay down across it. Again, keep those lungs open, just breathing normally. And slowly sit back up, keep that leg position the same. You're going to tuck your heel, the one back behind you, up towards your butt. Grab that foot, pull it in as close as is comfortable. A little extra stretch, that quadricep, the front of that thigh, that foot you're pulling back. And then back to a downward dog. Feet again, shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Pressing those heels down into the ground. Legs nice and straight. Straight line through that chest. Bring that opposite leg up for that downward dog split. And then that hip opener, tucking that heel to your butt. And slowly down for that modified pigeon pose. Lay down over top of that leg in front. Keep those lungs open, breathing normally. Slowly sit back up nice and straight with that chest. Tuck that heel in back towards your butt nice and close. Just bring it as close as is comfortable. Rotating those shoulders slightly. And let it relax. One more downward dog. And to an upward dog, so keep those hips up off the ground. You don't want to actually touch. Back to that downward dog. Slowly back down to that upward dog. Again, keep those hips barely hovering off the ground. Push it back up again, just nice and slow, back and forth. Keep those lungs open. Make sure you're not holding your breath. If you want a specific breathing pattern, you can inhale as you go to that upward facing dog. Exhale as you go to the downward facing dog. And there's our last one right here, that upward facing dog. Keep those hips up off the ground, hovering slightly. 
and let it relax. All right, we're gonna go to a cat cow. So bring those knees right underneath those hips, hands right underneath those shoulders. Arch that back up really nice and high, kind of crunching those shoulders and hips in towards each other. And then nice and slow, drop that lower back down, dipping as low as you can for that cow position. Just nice and slow, alternating back and forth. Again, keeping those lungs open. You're gonna exhale as you crunch those hips and shoulders, arching that back up nice and high. Then inhale as you drop that lower back down really nice and low. We've got just a couple more to go. Nice high arch. Slowly extend that lower back down as low as you can go. Back up again, nice high arch, crunch those abs. And exhales, you slowly let it drop back down. Move on to child's pose next. Sit back in those heels. Stretch those hands out away from you. Nice long stretch with those arms, trying to stretch out through the front of that shoulder, through that chest just a little bit, as well as feeling it a little bit in that lower back. And slowly let it relax. Go ahead and sit back up. Take a nice deep breath, and you are done. Good job, everybody. This workout is complete.